Yeah, she explained. Thank you so much. The sauce with the ginger, my plate, and my mess all everywhere. And I got into some trouble. I realized that uh, there is a mistake in my last name. Checking the fountain show, which is played right now, and it's so beautiful. And I've got a ticket for one ride in the gold carriage. So here it is. Hello guys from Taiwan! I am in Taipei for the first time in my life ever! Well, I've already changed like that and wearing uh, my jeans and jacket because it's uh, 14 degrees right now in Taipei. I don't know the territory around so I'm just gonna go and explore and I plan to take massage, bubble tea and maybe dim sum or some dumplings. So the hotel room is like that, super nice and super beautiful and huge. Uh, so guys, let's go! I'm uh, equipped with my camera, a uh, map and um, some essentials. Yeah, so let's get outside. So the city is already dark. So I hope I can show you as much as I can. So that's how the currency looks like. Uh, so here we have 1000 and it's birds. And here is 500 and here we have deers, rain, reindeer. And another side, uh, I believe some events. And here as well, like that. We're walking along the street to the mall, beautiful decorations, the city, a lot of skyscrapers. Guys, found helmets. I saw this one in uh, Cambodia with a girl. It's like a motorbike helmet. <laughs> it's cute, huh? Guys, really cute. And by the way, it rains right now. I'm uh, done with my uh, treatment. It rains like crazy. So I'm getting my bubble tea and heading to the hotel. Ooh. Okay, my first tea of the day. Hopefully not the last one. That's the um, what is that? That is um, Deep Thai Fung Hao special. It's tofu. Mm. That's the place, by the way, and it's super huge. Look at that. Well, so many people, and it's really, really big. So, bon appetit! Wow! So, would you like me to introduce the sauce for you? Lady, oh, lady, Yeah, she explained. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow! 
so nice. Yeah, guys, so we've got a lot of dumplings set, which looks like that, and it's so hot, and the lady introduced us everything. So, um, it's so good. You also have to mix a little bit of uh, rice vinegar and uh, soy sauce with your ginger over here uh, to dip uh, your dumplings. And uh, so, this is after the shrimp and pork. What do you It's another one. Wow. Wow, thank you. Wow, so and these ones are with the mm, I'm not sure to be honest. Oh my gosh, so good. So good. Wow, so this is the shrimp and the pork over here. I love how you can place it on, on top of each other and they're so steamed and so hot. Wow, so this is the truffle guys. Truffle, they wanted, I wanted to taste so, so, so much. That's how I do the sauce with the ginger, my plate and my mess all everywhere. <laughs> so here is the fried rice, the shrimps. And uh, this one is, is, by the way, it's recommended by the, um, by the place. And here is my hot and sour soup, which is not spicy. <laughs> I'm so excited, oh my god. My Taipei layover is almost over, so I'm getting ready to pack my suitcase and go back to Dubai. It was a beautiful, beautiful day and a lot of food and I feel so super happy. And I'm already in Dubai now, guys, and I got into some trouble. So the trouble is the situation with my passport and I could never ever imagine, to be honest, that something like that could happen to me, especially uh, in the embassy. So shortly, if you didn't watch my stories, that's what happened. It's an amazing feeling because I got my passport, guys. I got it. It's uh, fresh and new. And it looks inside like that. Like the pages we have our flag. And uh, my picture is so nice. I got a new passport which I was waiting for a few months and it had a mistake in my last name. So that's the plan for today. Um, I don't even know what they're gonna tell me. Okay, so this is the one that expires and uh, in February, in August, it expires in August. Uh, so six months before, I have to get a new one. At least I have to put a new number in the system of uh, my airline, so that I will be rostered flights and uh, to basically work without any issues. But, so I applied for my uh, new passport in uh, September last year. So now is January, yeah? 20th of January. So when I applied um, three days back, so it's four months plus, I got my passport. So this is the passport that I've got and I was so happy and excited like wow you know it took so much time but uh, I, I'm so happy because I got it. So and then when I opened it at home I realized that uh, there is a mistake in my last name. So there is one letter missing. So instead of uh, my last name Soldatova uh, now it says Soldatova so L is just not there. And imagine when you open your passport and you check and you're like is it do I really see that or it's you know something like my imagination or it's just a mistake or I was shocked I was almost crying I had a flight uh, to um, Taipei the same night and I was about to call sick that's how much trouble I got and I felt it was so painful because I have my vacation in May so if I apply for a new passport again now because it was a mistake and it will take another four months um, in May it will be ready and I won't be able to go on any vacation at all so now I finished with the embassy I went there and I had to apply for another passport all over again well guys the story about passport continues so that's the one the wrong one here that embassy mistook one letter in my last name so I'm not Maria Soldatova any longer, I'm Maria Soldatova, yeah. And uh, today I went to the embassy to change uh, and to figure out what actually happened. So the thing is that I had to go through the whole process all over again, starting from the application, starting from documents, uh, picture, uh, payment. So guess how much I had to pay for a new passport. I had to pay um, 310 dirhams, which is um, almost, I believe, 90 dollars. And I've got paper, like A4 paper with my details. Now I, yeah, and this one also for the payment, like from the bank. So I have to come back in uh, three months to check if it's going to be ready. If not, then maximum four months it will take to prepare it. That was so painful, so painful. And time, you know, when you realize that time is it's gold and you just lose it like that quickly yeah so that's guys the situation with my passport instead of that I went now and bought chocolates and just had a whole, whole pack because uh, you know stress that's what really gets kicks in 
very good morning now guys so this is another day and today i'm gonna take you to the dubai metro which doesn't happen very often so i'm already upstairs here and i've got a ticket for one ride in the gold carriage so here it is it has a sticker there is also a carriage for only kids and ladies by the way right now i can see a little burj al arab can you see it just over there yeah so i'm gonna take one metro ride just because i gave my car to the service and it's gonna be ready tomorrow morning so i'm gonna take you all the way uh, in the gold carriage to the marina mall because i live in the marina area and you will see everything how it feels like why metro is one of the quickest uh, transportation ways here in dubai while traffic is everywhere so let's go it's almost here So here it is, the gold class cabin, and that's the ticket. Wow, <laughs> this one is beautiful, but <laughs> oh, wow. I love it. Look at this. <laughs> this is the cocktail called Mary Berry, and it's a uh, beautiful, beautiful yeah. guys. It's it's really cool. Look at this. It's, it's like a fluid. Like I'm in the cloud now. It's just a bit chills. Wow. And the view I wanted to show you again, just like that. Already got the set of appetizers, and to be honest, it looks amazing <laughs> i love it so much so and uh, we put everything here on the plate to try so this is the whole set menu of appetizer that comes on the table for us and uh, i have i'm speechless speechless look guys at the main courses right now so we got served this the beautiful fish but look at again it's the visual part for me is everything it's so cool lemon and here it's chicken main course Mashed potato. And this. It's so yummy. It's not gonna be a but it's so beautiful. And the potato is almost done. Next part of the here. So now we are going to the third stage of a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful review. And I'm gonna show you something. So, uh, have you ever tried the liquid gold? Because I uh, do jewelry, but I couldn't imagine I could actually drink something similar because this coffee is 24k gold sprinkles and look at this, it's latte and it's so beautiful and then we also have here um, Greek coffee, like little espresso but I'm gonna show you how it looks like because it's a beautiful presentation so that's Greek uh, coffee over here and brownie with ice cream <gasps> And then vacation, imagine vacation after this beautiful day. So I have to go to gym a lot. <laughs> So I just took metro to the station called DMCC and I always pass by this bridge with a beautiful view over the canal you can see it's stretching very far away it's like super long and Marina Mall is just behind me and you can also take a tram so the tram will take you across the bridge but not this one same one but a little bit further down straight to Marina so you can enjoy your walk definitely come back to Marina and JBR to have a look because it's a beautiful place family community you feel it different and you can rent a car easily even in Marina Mall they rent every time so you can definitely get something for you enjoy it it's a beautiful day and I hope you enjoyed my little vlog from uh, like summary from uh, Taipei from Dubai and a bit of my life my channel is Skyfly girl and my Instagram is Skyfly girl as well come visit and ask me any questions and for now kisses and bye